So hello, um, I'm out on the bike and I'm here today to talk about something that's uh, been going around for quite some time. I've seen these advertised for a long time. Mr. Charlie Borman, he's a favourite for advertising these for motorbikes. Quadlock. I'm here to show you the Quadlock um, bike mount. Now I've got a mountain bike so I've gone from the I've gone for the upfront pro bike mount, uh, which is basically a mount that fits on the handlebars, which has got a, a leg that sticks out, a bit of a dog leg, and also it comes with a case that fits your phone. First of all, the first thing I've got to do is mount these on the bike. So I'm going to do that and then I'll explain what it's all about. So what do you get in the box? Uh, let's start with this one first. What you actually get in the box is some instructions which I won't use because you know me I'm dyslexic you get this dog leg bar with uh, a ring which obviously attaches to the handlebars and you get an adapter with a, a screw thread on the bottom which attaches to the top of that and you also comes with an allen key and some embushments and the embushments are to make up the variation of the sizes of the handlebar so uh, I'm not sure I'm going to need that one because it's got quite thick handlebars, but uh, we'll have a look and see. Uh, first of all, let's attach it to the actual handlebars and uh, get this thing to work, shall we? So putting it together first. Right, the next bit you've got to do is attach the little blue plastic clip. So you have to take the piece of paper off the bottom and attach this. And the idea is this has got a thread on it and you just want to line it up to get it as straight as you possibly can. This really isn't easy to film when you're on a main road. So my case cover, uh, I've got a Samsung S21, uh, as you can see there, and I've got the Samsung S21 case. Um, they've got a, a, a good array of cases and I'll put all the list of cases down on the screen for you so you can see what they actually fit. If you haven't got a phone that fits or a case that fits your phone, they do a universal case that actually sticks on the back of your standard case. So let me just peel this one out of here, put this one on and then we'll have a look and see how it fits. Okay, first impressions fantastic what an absolutely stunning case it wraps around the glass really really well there's a slight bezel on it so it actually keeps it in place it's a nice solid rubber it really feels like it's going to protect your phone and it's really flush and doesn't bulk out at all there's a slight hole in the back as you can see there's a bit of a not very easy to see in this light but you can see the hole on the back there uh, with the quad lock design and it doesn't obscure my camera or my torch or anything like that um, and that's the basic design that stays on your phone they do a waterproof cover as well that goes over this so yeah that's basically lives on your phone permanently and it fits to the mount so let's have a look see how it fits and that's it it snaps on what I had to remember was on the back of the case they are at a diagonal and on this case on on the clip they're square and straight so you basically got to line up your diagonal to your straight so 45 degrees simple it just means i've got to get used to where that position is so i can actually clip it and unclip it and to get it off you just literally pull the little lever on the back of the quad lock and it unclips i think that's a really great design and uh, it's going to be very very useful on the uh, on the bike it's just something i've got to get used to clipping it on and clipping it off so I have one issue with my handlebars on this bike. They have a really big taper on them. They're very thick in the middle and they taper off really thin. So it means that this sliding up and down and it hasn't quite locked on tight. So what I need to do is get it in position where I can lock it off tight. And the other thing is it's got a really big front section on it, or uh, the, the stem and my phone won't actually fit on the front of this bike. So I need to have a look and see if you do a slight adjustment you do lots of different mounts where i can mount this slightly higher so it brings it up above this and make it work even better still but for now i'm quite pleased with that and um, the beauty is because you can have your phone up in front if you want like that it can actually sit up in front on a standard bike um, you can have it sideways as well if you want it on uh, you know a portrait or a 
horizontal version. Uh, it's made of a very, very tough plastic. It's not aluminium, but it feels like aluminium. Uh, they do a pro version, which is made of alloy, and it sticks out a little bit further. And they also do one that sits on the bar underneath as well. So they do two or three different versions of it, and I'll put them up on the screen for you as well. But yeah, the way it locks on is really cool. Um, it's very, very sturdy, very, very strong when it locks on, but I've just got to get it in position where um, I can use it. So bear with me one moment. I'm going to remount it and have another look at it. Right, so we've readjusted our mount now and we fitted it to the bar that's really, really quite attached strong now and it's not going to come off. Uh, and yeah, it's just a case of getting used to how this thing works. You can see on the back there that you've got these little slots on the back. You have to slot into there. So you have to make sure you're quite firm with it, put it in place and lock it round. And once it's on there, it can't come off. There's no way this is going to come off and move. It really is quite solid. And to get it off, all you do is you push down on that and turn it and away it comes it comes off like that so it's just a case of getting used to where your mount is putting it in the right position and locking it round and it's it's a one-handed operation it doesn't matter which way you go on with it it's remembering where it is and the more i do it the quicker i'm getting it putting it on and if you want it at the other angle you put it on at the other angle the only thing is you need to really adapt this by turning it round into a different position so it's designed to go any way you want it you can have it upside down downside up or right side round so that's the idea behind it. Very, very quick, very, very sturdy. Now the beauty with this is I can use this with my electric bike and I've got an app that's built into this and I can actually watch and register this. It also gives me distance, uh, speed. I can use my maps and stuff like that. And with it on the front of there, I know it's not gonna come off and it really is a solid fixture. So uh, very pleased with it, very, very well made. And uh, it's just something I've got to get used to how to take it off. Taking it off is easy, but to get it back on, you just need to just get used to where you plug it in and lock it round. Yeah, so, uh, quad locks very very good design really well made very very strong and uh, you just need to find the right position to mount it i've got a very awkward handlebars on this bike but my other mounting bike's very straight and very simple i can have it in the center um, but it's a really really good design so quad lock uh, this is the front mount pro uh, there are other versions you can get um, this is like a very very strong it's like an alloy um, this is actually made this is actually the pro version uh, this is a anodized CNC aluminium mounting arm, so it's not plastic. This is the actual aluminium mounting one. Uh, this is the stronger version. Uh, it's like I said, it's got the dog leg in it as well. Uh, I'll give you some sizes. It measures handlebars between 31.8 millimeters, 25.4 millimeters, 22 millimeters. That's the different embushments you get, and um, it easy fits with a hex key. You've got the hex key that just does it up and locks it on. It also comes with a, you can also buy an adapter for it for $7.95, it goes on the bottom, one of those are coming and when it comes I will be showing you that as well. And basically you can either attach a road light or you can actually attach an action camera which is a really really good way of uh, fixing cameras to the front of your bike so it actually goes on the front there but I will show you that in an add-on video. It's compatible with many cases, like I said before, um, compatible with lots of different phones and all those phones will be up on the screen for you. Uh, it's fully adjustable 365 degrees, see 360 degrees which I showed you and there's two stage locking so it locks in and it is solid, it doesn't come off at all. Prices for these, uh, $29.95 for the bike mount, uh, like I say this is the front mount pro and the case is $22.95. Um, there are kits as well, you can buy these in kit forms, uh, it probably works out a little bit cheaper, I'll put the price up on the screen if I can find it for you. Uh, if you buy these in a kit, um, they are slightly cheaper uh, as a buying them as a, as a set. And like I say, the little clip adapter that fits to the front of that, which I will show you in another video. Um, they also do a, uh, a, they call it a life ring. Uh, they do a little ring that fits on the back of the phone, so that you can actually... Um, Put the ring in the back there so you can put your finger through it so a lot of people when they're using their phones they have the ring excuse that car they have the ring on the back to stop it from falling over plus it works as a stand as well something i think i'll probably get because if i'm going to keep this on air and keep this as a permanent case i use my phone a lot for watching videos so to have that little ring in the back there permanently i can just flip it out and stand it up and use it as a little screen i think that's a really really good idea so um, yeah all in all Probably not my best review, best idea of a video because I've had to make a mistake and fit it in a different place. I've had a fumble around trying to get the right size to fit. Done this all live in action and this is what I'm very much like. I do everything live so you can actually see the truth. And I've just had a guy standing there, a bit weird, looks like he was drinking I think. And he's just been standing there watching me. 
very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. Right, I'm definitely going now. Uh, I'll do a little bit of B-roll on the way back just so you can see it working. And um, yeah, till next time, ciao for now. Don't forget, like and subscribe, give us that thumbs up. And I'm always up to something. I've always got a different sort of gadget in the go. So yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye.